Simon, you've played against England in Twickenham and now you're returning there as a coach. Can you tell us a little bit about the Twickenham factor? Yeah, listen, it sometimes gets a, a bad rap for, for not being, uh, um, you know, having an atmosphere. But I, I used to love playing there. You know, I think it got the best out of um, us as, as Irish players. And and it's um, it's a pretty impressive stadium uh, when you get there. With lots of atmosphere outside. And um, it's somewhere where, on the whole, as an Irish team, we've always performed and, and um, put uh, you know, put a good showing in. And, and hopefully that's the same this weekend. That atmosphere outside is summed up in, in, in sort of the West Car Park and the bus stops so, and the players get off and walk to it. How much do, do players notice that and the noise and the atmosphere? I think it is part of the, part of the build-up and you do notice it. Um, there's usually a pretty big focus on your job and what you have to, to, to do to achieve success, but certainly it's, it's, it's part of the build-up and part of the, the sort of um, the atmosphere growing outside Twickenham and then when you get out in front of you know 80 or thousand it's it's a pretty impressive stadium I think most players will tell you when they get out there uh, the atmosphere is pretty special and there's usually plenty of Irishmen in, in the crowd as well living in in London and living in the UK so it's usually a pretty uh, impressive place to play and, and like I say hopefully we can we can um, put in another strong performance there like we have done um, over the last few years. You're going back there as a coach now. Uh, can you tell us, you know, sort of some of the key players for England to look out for at the weekend? Yeah, they've got pretty special, um, you know, halfbacks, uh, youngs or care, depending on who they select, and, and, and Ford and Farrell sort of uh, combination at 10 12 is, has been pretty productive for them. Uh, Outside backs, you know, they've got guys that can sort of rip you apart if you give them those uh, those spaces. Noel and, and Watson on the wing, and, and Brown counter attacking from full back. Certainly in the forwards, they've they've starting to develop a, a nice platform with their scrum and their line out more, and and the work that Steve Borthwick's putting into place there. So, you know, the big carriers, Vunapolo, both of them, um, um, will be uh, will be guys that we need to we need to stop to. Uh, to gain some uh, some parity, certainly uh, in terms of our defence and making sure that we don't give them any momentum. We probably went there in last in the summer pre World Cup and just gave them a little bit too much momentum. And they they certainly uh, once they get that roll on, they're very difficult to uh, to manage. So you know, we'll be very conscious of not allowing them to to get uh, on the front foot and making sure that we try and dominate them. And we welcomed back a couple of big men ourselves this week in Keen Healy and Mike Ross coming back into the squad. How important is their presence? Yeah, they, they they bring a huge amount of experience um, and you know no no little bit of nous, especially um, at, at scrum time. Uh, you know, it, there's a lot of stuff going on in scrums these days that uh, maybe doesn't get picked up by by the naked eye. But uh, certainly their their experience there and and, the, and their involvement in the squad has been really good this week. And and they've certainly um, you know they certainly after the loss in Paris, bringing in a couple of guys fresh who are who are sort of chomping at the bit. Um, and, and adding to to, uh, to what we've already got in place has, has been really good and, and uh, we hope that they'll contribute um, really effectively on the weekend.